Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Inside A Gamer, welcome to a new game, Service IT, You Can Do It. Now this is a game that I've been keeping an eye on for quite a while, um, I'm really excited to play this, it's soon going to be released on the 4th of March 2024, so only a couple of days for you guys, so I want to get a couple of episodes in, see what you guys think. Um, now, a little bit about the game. Fixed Electronics, manage your firm, challenge your hacker, Service IT is a simulation game where you have a full service IT company to engage in tasks like diagnosing, repairing, network infiltration, uh, programming, server management, while anonymous hackers keep sabotaging it all. Now, there was a prologue for this. Uh, I didn't try it. I wanted to wait for this because I really just uh, wanted to get into the game itself. Now, I am not hugely IT knowledgeable, um, and this is quite a complex game. There's a lot to it. Uh, it's not as just as simple as, you know, pick up and play. You do need to have some rough ideas, maybe, of how things work. Uh, but look, we'll show you as we go into it. We're going to start a new game. Um, okay, so, player name. Of course, it's my name. Uh, we can go a couple of logos here that we can pick from. Uh, not really much we can pick from. Okay, maybe something like that. We'll uh, call ourselves inside... Ink. There we go. Nice and easy. Same as our uh, software ink company, I suppose. Uh, we're going to start the tutorial. Welcome to your new service office. My name is Evelink. I will assist you. Before we start the head. Oh. Now, turn around. Excellent. You got the basics of being human. Now, let's go to work. Sometimes you will need some parts. Please. Make an order. To do it, go to your computer. Okay, so this is Evelyn. This is the person talking to us. It's in the printer. Um, so I did the tutorial once already, um, but I found that I wouldn't mind doing it again. I'm going to be honest with you. There was some bits that I didn't really get. Uh, but look, we can tidy up the place. Not that it's too important right this second. Here we go. We, we need to do what uh, Evelyn says. But I hate working in a mucky environment. It's like watching TV. I can't watch TV if the room's messy. I have some weird OCD about... I just don't feel comfortable. I don't know. Weird, isn't it? Right, we'll work on that. Let's go to the computer oh, then. Something is wrong. And then we ask if we know you. Close your service now or we'll face dire consequences. We are watching. Okay, so that's the hacker oh, collective. Just disconnected. I feel different. What was that? Check your email. Oh, you have to be careful. We will work on security, but for now, let's come back to your work. Okay, well, we can have a look at that in a minute. Click on shop and then on the configurator. Choose motherboard, processor, and RAMs. Okay, so we've only got one to pick from. This is, like I said, the tutorial stage anyways. Go to checkout and place your order. Ah, that was an exhausting day. Anyway, that's it for now. Go home, use the doors to quit, and finish your day. Okay, so that yeah, that was a hard day's work. We'll just do a little bit of uh, housekeeping while we're waiting. Uh, throw some of this stuff away, like I said. I can't uh, be going up and down these stairs with all this in the way. And as always, guys, if you like what you see today, let me know in those comments down below. Uh, we know how we do a lot of things here on the channel. If you guys enjoy, we do. Uh, hopefully this is something that we can get into. Could make a good live stream. When we have to do some of the, uh, the server stuff, it does does break my head a little bit. Okay, end of day. The parts have arrived, so you can get down to business. Open the package by holding down the left mouse button on it. Now put the motherboard on the workstation. To do this, just left click on the workstation while holding the motherboard. Then go to work mode by clicking on the workstation. WSAB keys. Movement. Zoom in out. This scroll wheel, change the camera angle, hold down the R and B and move the mouse. It's quite complicated. Uh, we can change all the little things and stuff. Now it's let's pretty cool. Move on to putting the motherboard together. It's easy, you'll see. 
Unlock the lever and CPU cover by clicking on them. Insert the CPU by clicking on the slot and selecting the appropriate item. Remember that the items you want to put in must always be in your inventory. Okay, so we got this I3. Unlock the slot by clicking very well. Let's move on. Unlock the iron slot by clicking on Click on the slot and select the appropriate exit the mode by clicking ESC. Now you can sell the motherboard at a profit. To sell an item, hold Alt and left mouse button on it. Okay, so we can sell this for 900. Before we go any further, Made some easy money on that. I have something for you. Open the box on the table. Okay. On the phone you will find useful applications. Some of them are also on your computer. Note store information useful in performing certain activities. To hide, remove the phone. Press Q. Let me show you another way to make money. Open the contracts app on your phone. I can't get to the bin. Aha, did it. Okay, so... We bring up the phone and we want the contracts. You will find job orders from clients. Accept the available order. So we need help with active server configuration. After accepting the order, you will get an email with details from the client. So now open the email application. The active server application is on your computer desktop. Enter the application. Okay, so it wants us to do a few things on their server. So we got active this server. Is where client servers will appear. Select the server that the client has granted. Follow the order. Once you've done everything, enter the contracts application and complete the order. Okay, so what it wants us to do, recently there have been a personnel change in the company. Usually our IT specialists help us in such situations. But now he is on leave. We'd appreciate if you would run the active server application we have already given you access, which is what we're on now, and change the following things. Remove the user Martin Warwick. Okay, so let's put the phone away for a second. So Martin Warwick needs to be deleted. And then we need to manage her probably. Uh, change Clements Rue's password to... Paper Solutions 135 exclamation point. We can control paste that and check the option in which the employee would have to change his password on the next login. Okay, so we can manage them. I can change their passwords and stuff for them. Uh, we need to force password change next time. If you do a good job, we'll get back to you. Okay, so it should be that simple. Basic changes there you were. If we go to contracts. Congratulations, you have completed your first contract. There you go, we've got five out of five. And when you come back, we will continue to work with you. Move on to the next day. Okay, so we're now moving on to the next day. Welcome back. Now go to your computer and turn on the courses application. Here you can acquire new skills and develop the ones you already have. Each course will teach you how to perform a certain activity, unlock new contracts and much more. It just so happens that I have a discount for you on your first course. Okay, the one that I got stuck on was this terminal. No idea how to use it. So every time we take a course, you put the VR goggles on. Pick up the RFID board and place it on the solving station. Now enter the working mode. Okay, so we get to use the scroll wheels to move around, we know. To pick a click workstation, uh, yep, that's fine. We've already learned how to do the basic stuffs. Um, so this, we're Check now going to be testing this. The so we've got uh, a multimeter, we've got testers, we've got soldering irons, cleaning kits, uh, all kinds of tools that we can use here. Uh, obviously, we need to take these things apart. I do find the click boxes They did update the game when I did the tutorial yesterday just as I was just testing to see if I wanted to play it They do seem to have uh, fixed some of the, the click boxes use cotton wipes to clean the plate Remove the dirt by holding down the left mouse button. Okay 
holding the left mouse button on the board. Move the mouse until the dirt disappears. Okay, so we need to give it a good clean. Okay. So click on the red switch to turn on the multimeter. The multimeter modes can be changed by clicking on the wheel depending on the element you're measuring. Uh, you do get a piece of paper that tells you what we're looking for, the parameters. And then we got to find out what's not working and fix it, basically. Turn on the multimeter. Set the appropriate mode for the components you want to measure. Pick up the probes and measure the resistor values. Okay, so look, you can see resistor values for 102 and 821 are 2000 uh, ohms so that we'll start with that if any of you don't know how to use a multimeter i mean i work on cars quite a lot so i use these quite a lot but usually we just use the voltage we don't use much of the other stuff um but you can see here here's the ohms uh so anytime you need anything it's always here so 2000 ohms would be enough to start with so i'm gonna have to move this around there you go there's our 2000 and we can pick up the multimeter so it's telling me 102, uh, which I can't actually see. Maybe this will tell me which one 102 is. Uh, there you go, there's 102. So we put the resistor on. We expect it to be around that one mark. It is. Uh, which one are you? Are you the 20,000? Yep. Is it not you? I want to check first. It's you. Uh, 8.6. Yeah, you know. Zero point eight. Yeah, we're we're in a good. Uh, that resistor's okay. So the next one actually is the twenty thousand. Okay, we found the broken one. Set temperature on the soldering iron. Uh, yep, we can do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that without having to read all of this stuff. Turn on the soldering iron. Set the temperature to three hundred with the red button and the solder the resistor. Remember that the element has two solders. So the heat we can use is between 280 and 320, but no more. So 300 is fine. You got to let it heat up like we have now. We know the one that was broken was this one, right? Oh, was it that one? If you can't remember, we could just pick this up very quickly again. Yeah, it was that top one. So we'll pick up my soldering iron. And we got to unsolder. The resistor. There you go. We'll put you back. Now exit the working mode and take to inventory a new resistor from the container on the other table. Now return to the workstation and enter the working mode. When you click on the disordered component to discard it, then click where it lies and choose from the available options to put a new resistor in its place. After that, solder the element. Okay, so now we just got to resolder. Lovely. Okay, so now we've got to test the board. So we've got to use the knobs here to change the amps, the volts, the test. Uh, again, all quite easy. Click on the cable connector to connect it. Set the appropriate values on the power supply using the knobs. So Check that the board is working. We can plug it in. The values are between 11 and 13 volts. So we can... Uh, Scroll wheel that once we click on it. So if we put this up to, uh, I mean, 12 volts was fine. And then we need to change the amps. The amp was uh, between 1.8. Good. Disconnect the cable. Put the cover in place and screw in the screws. As you can see here, the green is, is gone green here. So that means the board is now working. We have fixed it. You see, the light's gone off. And now we just need to put the case back on. Pick up the screws. I'm actually really glad that they fixed the hitboxes because I did try, like I said, I did try the tutorial just to see if I liked the game and some of them were just a nightmare. So they've really fixed that already. That's really good. Pick up the reader and put it on the blue orange rack. Okay, on the rack. Well done. You've completed the course. I won't imprison you in VR. I see you a fast learner. You have new contracts at your disposal. Okay. Form at least two of them. 
So we've got two new contracts. Uh, not you. Uh, so we're going to go under contracts here. So what have we got? Uh, broke the Ethereum board. It'd be a great to fix. That's worth a thousand. And this is another. Okay, why don't we take you? And let's take you because you should be an easy one. That's just uh, managing a server. Now we don't get the parts in for a day, so yeah, we'll we'll start with the server then. Uh, if we go to active server, we'll bring up our phone. I find using the phone here is the easiest way to do this. Okay, good morning. We need a management support. We got a referral for work company we work with, so we referred ourselves to you. We would like to add two users. Okay, so the first person we're going to be adding is Samantha Keith. So we'll put you in there, Samantha. Keith, your email is skeef at amber. There we go. Username they want uh, skeeth. Password 1234A. It's a good way of doing it, to be honest. Select change password on the next login. Okay. What type is... Okay, she's just a user. So that's fine. That first one's done. Now we've got to be careful. The second one here is an admin. So we need to add... Um, Caitlin Carey. Uh, now you can use Control c Control v like you do on your normal keyboard. That works too. Uh, you're going to be an admin, just so I don't forget. And I've already messed this first bit up here, haven't I? Get rid of you. There we go. Uh, what is your email? E carry. That's going to be your username. Password is the same. Force. Uh, mark password change on next login. Okay, and that's that one done. That that's quite an easy one. Admin. Save. Okay, so we've. Completed that task, I'm hoping. We'll find out, won't we? Uh, what do we get? $400 for it. Do you want to complete the task even if you haven't fully finished it? I find that odd. Did we not? Okay, Samantha Keith, user, change pass to next logon, Katie. Yeah, that's all done. I think it's just asking me in case I'm not sure. I'm hoping. Okay, we did get a new email, so let's uh, let's just have a quick little nose here. Three out of five. I mean, I missed something there, didn't I? Now, oh, bugger. Okay, we might as well take the other contract as well, aren't we, really? Let's be honest. You took up an assignment, all the necessary information will be sent via email. That's fine. So, again, these won't get sent for a day or two. I think we're done for the day. I think that's how it kind of all works. I don't know why I'm crouched down. All right. I can't seem to move these yet, either. What's this? Electric box. What's an electric box? I have no idea. All right. New day. Here we go. Uh, we've got a package. Both of them have turned up. That's fine. We'll put the first one down. Uh, no, in here. Let's have a little look then. We need to unscrew this. There's obviously a resistor problem or something because this is the first job that we've learned. Okay, we give it a clean. As one does. Nice and clean. Okay, so. Let's turn on the soldering iron so it's ready to get hot. Okay, so we're going to set that to 2,000 ohms first for 102 and 
Okay, well, 102 is broken. 8.4, you're okay. So we know the first one's broken. We'll just check these two. Uh, you're on at 10, that's fine. And you're fine. So yeah, we've got the one broken one up here at the top. I think. Yeah. Okay, so we've already got the soldering iron hot. We're going to fix the resistor here. Now the only thing is, is I need to probably buy some of these resistors. I don't have any. What kind of resistor was that? We can probably learn from this just this page here, right? Uh, no idea. All right, we're going to turn you off for a minute. Need to buy some resistors then. So we need to go to the shop. Uh, what's it going to be under? Your accessories, no. Network devices, servers, parts, resistors. Okay. There was a 102 resistor, wasn't it, that, that was gone, right? Uh, so how about we get... These are all quite cheap. So I'm thinking maybe we should just stock a few of these resistors. So... I always have what I need. I mean, it's only $12. Uh, well, one to two business days would be fine. News. Apparently we've got some new news, whatever that is. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I can't really do much until we get the resistors. Can I? Can't even pick up the board. I'd have to put it all back together. All right, we might as well take part the other one and find out what's wrong with it, right? In case I need to order anything else. I suppose it's the best thing to do. Some might say the smart thing to do. All right, pick you up. We're going to put you down there for a minute. All right, what is this? This is something different. This is an uh, Ethernet board. Okay, so we can't actually test it. There's no testing. Um, so there's going to be a resistor or something wrong with this. Up to 20,000 ohms. All right, let's, let's check out some of these parts then. Okay, you're fine. You're running at 12. You're running at 12. You're running at 12. 12. 12. Okay. Resistor 0402 is the dead one. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, what, what temperature? 300? Yep. Now heat up. All right, all good. I'm gonna remove you. Okay, so we'll have to just go through a day. I can't do much else. All right, we've got some packages. I got loads of resistors. Now I believe they have their own slots here. If I can find the right one to put it in, it will go in like that. Uh, five. Okay, you're going in there. You're going in there. Apparently you're going in there. And you're going in there. Okay, no, no. Right, that's them done. So, this one was... Uh, oh, it was just... Uh, I have no idea. It was a 402, wasn't it? I'm going to take one of them. As I think that was the resistor that was needed, right? Looks that way. Okay, let's turn on the soldering iron again. So there's no way to test this apart from uh, the ohms. So what we could do is just make sure now 
There you go. You are running at 12, 12. Yeah, everything else now looks good here. I'm actually quite happy. I need to turn off the stuff though, because, you know, wasting power and all that. So we could take you out and you're done. Let's put you down. Fortunately, you got to take everything back off again. Okay, what the hell was missing on here? Resistor 102, was it? Okay, so I need a 102 resistor. 512, 102. Okay, so we're going to take one of you. Put you down. Soldering iron needs to go back on. It's still quite hot, so that's good. Oh, we're not in range yet. Come on. 300. Okay. Turn you off. We can plug you in. And again, we know the rough values here. It's uh, 11 volts. 7.5 will work fine. And the ampage is 1.8. And you can see the light's gone green. So that means we're tested. We're good. I'm happy. Let's put the case back on. Can I just click on all these screws? Yeah, that, that might be an easier way of doing that. Oh. Okay. That's you done too. So that's them two jobs done as far as I'm aware. We'll find out in a second, won't we? Um... Any money you have earned, and will earn you can also buy yourself furniture and refresh your office. Press key to enter office decorating room. Okay, there was something more wrong with that. Yeah, we'll get better as we learn more. Okay, so money that we earn, we can press T and we can change uh, things in here. Go to the bank's application. I quite like the plush carpet. Okay, once us go to the bank. Here you will find the history of transactions. Go to the loans tab. If you ever run out of money, you can find available loans here. Go to the expenses tab now. Here you will find the weekly expenses. Remember to pay them. Two hundred forty dollars of medical insurance. Interest. Now you can proceed on your own. Keep growing and keep working. Alright, well, do we have any other jobs? Oh, I almost forgot. I have one more thing for you that you might find interesting. It's in the store as a marketplace tab. Take a look at it in your spare time. Okay, so the marketplace here you'll find offers of various types of broken boards which you can purchase at a lower price, repair them, and then sell them for profit. Okay, so that's good. Uh, so it's a good way to practice, I suppose. Okay, so we've got two jobs here. Let's just take both of them. Uh, let's do nice work first. So if we bring up my phone. Nice work. Hello, we've recently changed a few things in the company and in connection with this, we've hired a few employees for this. We need some people need to be granted admin status. Please add two employees. Okay, two employees. Let's try not mess this up because I've not not been doing very well so far, have I? Elena Max, uh, type users fine. Emacs. Let's make sure we get this correct. Username. Nice and simple. Uh, password. Nice work, one, two, three. User, uh, select change password on next login. Okay, so that should be fine. You're just a user. Okay, now Mark Fallon is the next one. Mark Fallon, 
seems to be okay he will be just a user username m fallon password will be nice work one two three force okay so that's two new users okay we need two new admins as well so alice truth you are now going to be an admin and john set you are also an admin All right, as far as I'm aware, then, that job is good. Okay. They gave me five out of five, so at least did something right for a change. Okay, good software. What do these people want me to do? Uh, let's go back here. Hello, we're making some changes to the company. We need to date a management professional. Please change. Remove user Alex Edger. Okay, well, I need the phone to move. Lex Edger's gone. Change pain carrots user type from user to admin. Okay. You're now an admin. Well done. And set the correct username for Odell Gaplin. O dot O Gaplin. Okay, so that's your new username. Okay, you don't have one currently. And that's it. All right, damn. And we know what? We might as well go to this marketplace and buy something, ain't we, really? Right, we'll end our day. We've got nothing really going on here, have we? Licenses, networks servers man there seems to be so much stuff here oh we got loads of new rams and cpus as well nice okay oh there's a promotion going on at the moment i don't know why i'd need a printer for though yeah uh, probably prefer the dark okay so course wise the terminal one is cheap, but I struggled with this, okay? And we're probably going to need to do it. I'm going to have no choice because there's no jobs available now. Um, okay, we'll do this tutorial together and you can tell me everything I do wrong. Welcome to the terminal course. So to, get to perform the course, we will need the terminal. Open it. Terminal uses commands to execute a given command. If you remember them, you can write them yourself. If not, use the buttons at the bottom of the terminal by selecting the right combination of buttons. Okay. Once a command is complete, press enter to confirm it. To begin with, let's delete the crack file. See. First, select the category, press remove data. So this is fine on this computer, but they'll ask you to sign into their terminals to do this work. And that's where I was getting confused. No, you need to choose where the file is located. Click change directory and choose the name of the place where it is located. It is on the desktop. So click the desktop button. Then press enter. Now we can delete the file. Select the remove data category again and choose delete file. Select the file you need to delete and click enter. Good. I will now show you how to recover data. This time we will focus on the order list database. Select the restore data category. Find the file to recover by clicking this gray scan and select a valuable disk. Okay, this side of it is simple enough because it's on this terminal. This is this thing, this is the easy bit. Now the data can be recovered. Select the restore data category again. Then select check this to recover the data. After great. Now the last thing, regaining access to the website. Select the access recovery category. To begin with, you need to connect to the hosting. Click the connect to FTP category. Now enter the FTP IP you need to connect to. Which should be 31.88. 
Sorry. Now you are connected to the hosting, so you can manage it. Go into the access recovery category again, and then click config FTP and press enter. Here you can set the correct data to make the website work again. The customer will give you this data, but for the purposes of the course, enter in the IP 11.288.417.38 and domain main website when you're done. Main dot website. You have successfully completed the course. See you later. Okay, so we completed the course and this is where things go wrong for me because I couldn't do the first job on this. And this is where um, I cried a little bit, I suppose. It all seems easy. Restore the website and order list. We have lost access to the order list and website. We need a help of a professional. Okay, we're going to take this on. Uh, we're going to take the terminal. I'm gonna, can I? I can't move you. Okay. Oh, I can't even. All right. We need to get what I need up here first. A terrible thing has happened. A few days ago, a strange video appeared on my desktop. Some voice was saying strange and disturbing things. I don't know how it ended up on the company's computer, but since then, the store's website has stopped working. Every time I try and open it, it shows an error. However, it is not the only website that has suffered, but also the order database. All the data has been lost. I don't know what to do. Can you help me to complete the task? You may need FTP address, IP address of the website. Okay. Hopefully I'll get it right this time. So as far as I'm concerned, we need to access recovery and connect to an FTP first. And the FTP is 31.88.200.110. What does decrypt do? No idea. Um, so I need to connect to an FTP first. So why did that not work? 31.88.200.110. Okay. Why am I not connecting? See, desktop is the selectable folder, but this just makes it my folder. So that doesn't make any sense. We'll have a look. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so technically, all right, I'm confused. So this actually is their computer, not my computer. Orders.txt, is that what they wanted? Okay, so that's now restored. Apparently. So why can't I connect to this FTP? 88.200.110. Yeah. Maybe I should put in this one first. Doesn't make any sense though. Website domain paradise shop. Can I? No, that's going to be done via this. All right, I'm a little bit stuck. Um, I'm pretty sure something's stupid. We can. Uh, I'll work it out. I will leave it here for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you like to see some more of this? Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit that like bell. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.